I started beekeeping six years ago, very enthusiastic about nature, wildlife, and the bees now. Yeah. It's the buzz. I think I have a bee here. <laughs> So Ella's Beehive is uh, a business that we made out of a hobby and our main business is a um, social enterprise for wood recycling for which we also use the sea care voucher in order to buy a resin printer for chess boards that we're producing out of uh, reclaimed timber. There are so many aspects of beekeeping where you can participate from what the bees bring in. They produce a lot of wax for their comb, for their brood cells, for the honey cells, that can be turned into candles. You use the wax in order to have an emulgator for skincare. So we have a small range of skincare products that we are making with beeswax from our hives and with uh, pure essential oils and pure oils. Honey is a side product. Me personally, I actually don't like honey. It's too sweet for me. We sell our honey to the local butcher, the Martins in Beverston, and at the milk farm. I came across a newsletter from KCC mentioning the uh, COVID recovery voucher for businesses involved with livestock in order to better understand bees. We use the voucher for monitoring equipment inside and outside of the hive. So uh, it's Big Brother watching you. So the monitor equipment uh, is giving me, uh, has a big time-saving aspect. I have an app that I can peek into and see are the bees ready to swarm, are they not? Is uh, uh, the nectar flow happening, isn't it? Is there anything I need to do for the bees? For instance, during winter, are they consuming too much storage? Do I need to refeed? And by preventing the colony from swarming, gives me the honey forage for the year from that colony because if the colony is swarming I will not get any honey from that colony for that particular year. So it's a financial uh, aspect as well as um, health and ben bee benefit aspect and a time saver. Swarming is, a, is the uh, natural procreation of the bees so it's nothing nasty. It's, nature's plan for the bees. The uh, old queen is preparing to swarm with all the flying, with the majority of the flying bees and then is uh, going for a new adventure, finding a new cavity somewhere to use a new colony. And the remaining bees will raise the new queen. Between two and six queen cells emerge, then the uh, first queen emerging from the queen cell will kill all remaining ones. There can be only one. And then after a few days, uh, when she's ready to fly, she's going for a virgin flight, gets inseminated by drones, comes back and uh, will lay eggs. The application for this sea care voucher was incredibly easy. Everyone within the team was very helpful, got all the questions answered immediately when there was a question open and everyone involved in the entire uh, process from uh, the sea care team as well as the procurement team which was external was fantastic. The second business that participated from the CK voucher is Woodpackers of Kent, social enterprise for wood recycling and collects timber from residential as well as industrial sites and we are recycling timber. It is part of the KCC Upcycling Your Waste uh, initiative and we are working together. Some of our clients are for instance AW Group that uh, together with us are saving resources, changing life, and we are collecting timber, for instance, from building sites, bring it back here to the yard, sort it out into uh, the different grades of timbers. TK Voucher 
enabled us to purchase the uh, resin printer that we can make these chess figurines, which is a complementary item to products that we produce, for instance, chess boards made out of reclaimed timber. And in order to offer additional products, we are using plant-based resin for those figurines.